as they take a lot beginner seller you may not know what products to sell or which products may do well and if you do not have the luxury to do trial and error testing to see which products are going to do well due to budget limitation you need to find a winning strategy or a strategy that's going to help you to find a winning product at your first shot now we are going to use chat gpt today to find a winning product so this is going to help you so that in your first shot or at your first shot you have a winning product now when you find this winning product the other thing that you need to do that's very important is to make sure that daily you do have stock in the warehouse because now you have a product that's in demand but customers when they want to buy are they finding the product available or not so that's also very important for you to be able to make that 1000 rands a day or 10,000 rands a day but this is also going to depend on your selling price so if you're selling something that is a selling price of 10,000 rands of course your profit is going to be something like 2,000 rands or 1,000 rands compared to somebody who is selling a product that's only worth 100 rands and maybe their profit is only 20 rands so that's also very important to determine how much you're going to make daily so if you find this winning product you have the stock in the warehouse and you're running sponsored ads you will be able to make your daily target your daily goal so now do not just buy buy this stock and keep it in the warehouse and you just leave it as it is without doing anything now we are going to use chat gpt i'm going to come over here to my desktop and show you how you can use or how you can give chat gpt best prompts so this is an open ai website but i'm going to leave the link down below in the description box so that you are able to just go straight to this chart gpt or this website now what i did here i came over here to chart gpt and i said can you provide a list of the top five categories that have good sales performance on e-commerce and it gave me these five categories which is electronics and gadgets fashion and accessories home and garden but i'm going to choose this one over here which is toys and games so this is what i'm choosing now i only got the category i also need to find the right products and i'm also gonna go ahead and ask can you provide a list of top 20 products ideas under toys and games categories that have good sales performance so i got board games puzzles lego sets action figures dolls so this is everything that i got but if you feel like after asking for 20 products this is not enough you can also ask for 10 more please and it's going to give you 10 more products over here now i'm going to choose only number five which is toys and games so this is the category that we are choosing today to find our winning products on so toys and games i'm gonna move to maybe these three products now you want to confirm that this is really a winning product now what i do i go to google trends what i do when i reach google trends i go straight to explore i'm just gonna click that explore so i do have those products that i found on chat gpt which is board games puzzles lego i'm just going to start with only these three so i'm going to come over here and copy board games and i'm going to go and paste it over there by google trends so i will paste it over here another thing that i need to do before i do this let me just close this before so that i can show you so the country that you are in or the country that you live in or you want to sell in so that you know that the product is in demand in this specific country so this is south africa and the results that i want is for the past 12 months but i can also choose to do only 30 days 90 days five years if i want but today we're going for 12 months and the category that i want is going to be the category that we want which is games and toys toys and games but here we only have games so we are going to go for that web search we can choose the google shopping so we want the results from google shopping people who are shopping and now we have this so now that's when we can add that term that we got over there which is board games so that's what we are going to search for and to see if this product is in demand of you 
or if there are people looking for this product now i'm gonna come over here and this is the graph that we have and around the month of may between may the 29th and june the 4th and this is when a lot of people were looking for this product so this is the graph if you want to go into more details you just come over here to see the regions or the provinces that are looking for these products now northwest is the first one that has a huge demand and followed by limpopo eastern cape and Gauteng. so only these four provinces have the demand but if you're selling on take a lot because take a lot is nationwide you are good to go i'm gonna go and search again for the second product now i'm gonna just come over here and copy puzzles and go back to google trends and paste it and then again i'm gonna search for puzzles so this is the results for puzzles as you can see the demand is not the same as for the, the previous one and over here around january the demand really went high so around january and now it's also in demand around march it was in demand but these are the provinces eastern cape coming at number one followed by Gauteng and kwazulu natal let's just go and look for the last one which is going to be lego sets so on lego sets i'm going to copy this and then again i'm going to come over here to google trends and paste it over here so for the past 12 months on lego sets these are our results as you can see this is the graph now what i need to do now i want to compare these three games and see which one is the best so i'm going to come over here on lego sets i leave it as it is i add another one which is going to be uh, let's say puzzles which is number two i just copy again because i've already lost that and i come over here to compare and paste and again i add another one so i'm gonna add the last one which is the first one over here board games i'm gonna copy and come over here to google trends and again i'm gonna paste so this graph is going to, it's going to help us determine which products we can choose of the three. So blue is Lego sets, red is puzzles, yellow is board games. So over here is like that as well. Blue is puzzles and as you can see puzzles comparing to others I feel like it's the least. And the most over here looking at these curves red is I think red is puzzles. So puzzles and also yeah I feel like puzzles they have better uh, curves but only twice but yellow is the best out of all of these so board games these are the most looked for or searched for products let's say you decide to choose board games now you go to alibaba to look for suppliers so over here i chose board games for adults there's an option for board games for children and also board games for family so let's just go with this one already here i have chosen a trade assurance and also verified supplier and this is what you also have to check this too so this is just to get a supplier that's, that's going to allow you to pay via trade assurance and they are also verified now let's just go with this one the first one because they've been operating for five years over here they are verified because already we chose that and their rating is 4.8 star they only have three maybe this is a new product not a lot of people have bought so they only have three reviews but because this is only an example let's just go with this supplier i'm gonna come over here to click contact supplier and then it's going to take us over here now we need to find a really good message to send to this supplier now what we need to do is to come back over here to chart gpt now we are selling using chart gpt so we have to try and find everything we can from chart gpt now i've already done the, the alibaba shipping inquiry so this is what i ask please draft a message to alibaba suppliers inquiring about quotations for 50 units expressing interest in establishing a long-term relationship and also provide a shipping agent to ship to south africa so you're also going to change that to your country so this is the message i got i hope this message finds you well i am reaching out to inquire about 50 quotations of your product as a potential buyer i am interested in establishing da, 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 da. in addition i would appreciate it if you could provide me with a reliable shipping agent to handle the transportation of the goods to south africa i would also like to request information about your minimum order quantity payment terms and lead time 
kindly provide me with a detailed breakdown of the costs involved and any relevant information about your product so this is a very good message so i'm just going to come over here and click on this everything i'm just going to click on it and then copy and we go to alibaba and this is where i'm going to paste this message so this is my inquiry so i can remove some of the things like best regards or think i can just leave it as at a uh, thank you for your time and attention i look forward to hearing from you and also the dear alibaba supplier you can also remove this so i am removing this and now we have our message over here and i come over here to send inquiry so i'm gonna have more conversations with this supplier also just detailing the contracts of how i pay for my inventory and they are gonna ship to my house or to your house and then that's when you ship to take a lot you have a winning product you have your stock you have to run sponsored ads and you will be able to make that thousand rand a day so that's it we've come to the end of our video that's how you sell on take a lot using chat gpt thank you so much for watching up to here see you in the next video cheers